In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite defenses in Madden 22, how you can utilize it to make the offense work. And that's the key word that I want to focus on in this video because defense is insanely difficult in Madden 22. It's really, really hard. Okay, it's probably the hardest year for defense that I've ever, ever had. And it's primarily because I think of escape artists being so high that if the play breaks down, they can just roll out. I think some of the zones just don't quite react like we want them to. Um, there's a lot of reasons why defense is hard. Wheel routes are so hard to guard in this year's game. A lot of reasons. But the biggest thing and the big picture takeaway is in a game where defense is hard, even in a game where defense is not hard, but especially in a game where defense is hard, you have to kind of change your strategy. Essentially, you have to move from offense to defense, right? I think sometimes we think of defense as we want to try to get turnovers, we want to try to attack, 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 send pressure and all that. But defense in this year's game, I think it's more about the sheds and having coverage and forcing them to have a bend but don't break style approach. And we're going to show you how to do that in this video. This is a very, very good coverage defense out of the nickel 335 odd i personally love this out of 335 odd because you can get fluky pressure and at the same time you're going to be able to have the best coverage that i have found so far in madden 22 that's going to protect you from bombs it's going to force them to have to work they're going to have to fit the ball in tight windows check down to the flats and they're going to have to work up the field that's all we're really trying to do this year defensively because once we get them in that 10 yard area it becomes a lot a lot more difficult to score than it is from before then all right so we're trying to bend but don't break and kind of walk them to the red zone make them have to, to be perfect not make mistakes and then try to get a lock up hold the three in the red zone where then we get the ball back and obviously it's an offensive game and so we can push the ball down the field so that's just a little bit of a philosophical uh, piece there and like I said, we're going to be talking about the 335 odd. You can find this in the Baltimore playbook. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit the sub button. It's free. Also, want to let you know if you want to get this was the first defensive ebook I put out this year. It's been the best defense all year, in my opinion. Just got a lot of going, a lot of really good concepts within it. If you want to get all of my ebooks for one price for just $10 a month, join the Patreon. There'll be a link in the description. By joining, you get everything. You get all the updates to all the ebooks. You get all the ebooks. You get all the uh, kind of exclusive tips and updates we put out pretty much every week. So if you want to get all that, link is in the description. It's just $10 a month. And uh, it's a great way for you to be able to support uh, the work that I've been doing here on the YouTube channel. Okay, guys. So uh, like I said, we're talking today about 335 odd. I'm just going to come out in, um, you can honestly, let's see if I can find a mesh spot. Mesh spot is such a good play. Um, let's see. I think I got it in my eyeballs. I'm going to come out on a bunch of trail. But what we're going to do out of 335 odd, really important. If you look at the bottom left hand of the screen, and I talked about this defense before, but I want to reiterate it. We're going to flick the right joystick to the left, and you're going to see that it's going to hit that strong safety inside package. Now, once we do that, we can go back and manually sub them in by hitting the triangle button here. We could just walk through and sub in all of our players. I've already done that, but basically. That way you get all the players you want. But what you're going to get with this is better coverage rules that you're going to be able to take advantage of. So we're going to come out in the play Tampa 2. And the most important thing that I want to hit on is the fact if you look at this zone concept, the zone that you have to have to be good in Madden 22 is a vertical hook. They are the most important zone in this game, and the Tampa 2 gives you two vertical hooks. So we have the two vertical hooks, and we have the clouds. Now, really important, we want to shade down our vertical hooks. That'll get them to play kind of some of those in routes, those wheels, those underneath. We don't want the yellows to get pulled, because at this point in the game, I want you to watch. This is a legitimate concept that you will see. You will see something that looks like this right here. And what will happen is if you watch that vertical hook, we'll get pulled away and guard nobody, as you can see right there. However, if we shade down, I want to show you what's going to happen. So this is a shaded down vertical hook, same exact route combo. Watch the vertical hook, it's shaded down, and now I can't throw that, right? That's a tough throw. So the importance of shading down, I cannot, I cannot stress enough. So you want to shade down. And then really quickly put your both of your quarters back in the cloud flats. That way we've got shaded down vertical hooks. 
And then we've got cloud flats that are going to carry based off the route distribution or the pattern distribution. They're going to carry to corners or they're going to come rally to flats or they're going to cover the outs. Like that's what we're looking for. Okay. And then lastly, what you want to do here, I like to go ahead and spread. Um, you can just spread your defense and then press them. And then you want to crash your D line to the right. Now, what I like to do from there is this guy right here, Bethel, we want to hot route him. Um, we don't have, you don't have to hot route him actually. Um, you just want to put one of the two linebackers in a middle third. That's going to help your coverage just kind of protect you. Now, if you want to keep the vert hook on the left, you certainly can do that. You just need to then put Bethel, you, you just need to, you know, kind of, you know, work to say, well, Bethel is going to be in the middle third and then I need to use her somebody else. But the way that this works is I can put that middle third there and then I've already shaded down so I can drop this lineman on the left side here into a vertical hook. I can crash my line out a couple times, blitz my user, and now you see we're in a pretty decent position. We've got two vertical hooks and we've got two clouds and we can also put those safeties in outside thirds just like this right here. As you see, the play art's glitched, thanks EA. Now, if you take a look, we're gonna be in a decent position. So let's say they run something like this. Well, watch how well these vert hooks will play underneath. They'll kind of be a little lurky for you. And then you've got this other stuff. And, and as you can see, it's it's not, it's not, you know, it's not perfect defense, but it's 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 a different way to play. And you're going to be very, very effective, I think, against a lot of the wheel routes and some of the things like that. So uh, here, 335 out again. Again, you're just going to throw that guy in a vert hook on the left side, put those two, re-cloud re your outside corners, just like this. So you kind of turn it into this cover three. And then now let's go to something like verticals, one of the best plays in this game, by far one of the best plays in this game. And I want you to watch how this plays. You're going to see, by and large, we play pretty good on the wheel. We're going to carry the crosser, and pretty much everything else is bagged um, in this concept. Now, another concept that is really, really popular, um, your job is to carry the route. Like the On every play, um, there will be a route that more than likely, like you don't have to worry about the underneath middle as much. Why? Well, because we have the two vertical hooks, right? So we don't have to worry too much about the wheels, but we do have to worry about things like a crosser or something like a deep corner. So in this example here, Z spot and go, I've got good coverage on everything. I'm just gonna carry this up to the seam. And as you can see, you know, we just force them to have to check down. That's all this defense is designed to do. It's not designed to, you know, be able to stop them every single play. Now, another thing that you could do from this though, is you can go ahead and send some pressure. So the way we're gonna do that is we're still gonna shade down. This time we're actually gonna leave the hard flats because we kind of picked and chose our spot. We're gonna shade down, we've got this right here. Now, what I like to do on this back side here is I'm gonna actually, um, you know, again, kind of situationally, but we've been deterring them from throwing the wheels. So now they're gonna throw a little flood flat. But what I'm, my job here is to carry, if I need to carry anything in the middle, and as you see here, pressure's gonna come in and we're gonna force a quick read. You don't want to be blitzing a lot out of this defense. I mean, you certainly can play that way. But the way I like to play right now, with the way the game is played, and again, all we're doing is spreading our line, spreading our linebackers, uh, globally blitzing our linebackers, and then we just crash our line down. But the way this game is played at this point, you could also roll this into a cloud, cover three cloud. Let's say that, you know, you might think, well, there might they might block the running back or something. So you go to something like this and notice that it's going to come in pretty consistently against a blocked running back and then you're using over the middle but this is a little different way to play defense than i think what we're doing and like i said i think that this you can also mabel this coverage if you want to so you could actually go into your coaching settings and you could go ahead and put your um, clouds on 30 and then you could put your uh, purples on 10 and then what i would do in that scenario is go ahead and drop these guys into curl flats and then what I would do is drop one of your defensive linemen into a bluff blitz so you see this is what this looks like now we're just rushing two and got good coverage just kind of kind of force them to have to work over the middle you see how fast the sheds are when we use bluff blitzes as opposed to spies 
So, anyways, guys, that's just a little piece on the 335 odd. If you want to learn more about this defense, everything's in the Patreon, the whole system. It's probably my favorite defense. I keep coming back to it. I just like the way that I think that you can kind of get a lot accomplished with this. I actually think it's better than the 245 odd because of the fact that we can uh, use this specific coverage. And it's probably one of my favorite. It's been one of my favorite coverages since September. So I really encourage you to check out the ebook if you want to check it out. There will be a link in the description of the video, and you can go check that out. Again, you can sign up for just 10 bucks. So, uh, you know, don't hesitate. I'd, I'd go ahead and grab that. I think it's a great way to get better at this game and support the channel. Thanks for watching. If you're still watching, you want to go get the ebook, head on down to the description, click the link that I put down there, and go check it out.